To program a Compact or Control Logics processor, you'll need a copy of either Studio 5000 or Iris Logix 5000. Now today, when you purchase a copy of Studio 5000, you not only get the latest shipping version of Studio 5000, but you also get several previous versions of both Studio 5000 and RS Logix 5000. So, why do you need both packages? Well, you'll use Studio 5000 to program Logix processors with a firmware rev of 21 or greater. And you'll use RS Logix 5000 to program Logix processors with a firmware rev of 20 or less. Now, when you go to install the software, you'll need to install all the versions that match the versions of firmware in your existing Compact and Control Logix processors. For example, if you have a Control Logix processor loaded with firmware version 16 and another one loaded with version 21, and maybe even a Compact Logix loaded with firmware version 24, you'll want to install Iris Logix 5000 version 16 and Studio 5000 version 21 and 24, all on the same computer. This requirement of having the software versions installed that match the hardware versions of firmware in the field is often referred to as lockstep compatibility, which means you can only program a Logix controller with software of a version that matches the controller's firmware. Now, it should also be noted that when you install either Iris Logix or Studio 5000, you'll also get Iris Links Classic Lite, and you'll need that, so don't try to cancel that installation. That is the communication software required in order for Iris Logix 5000 or Studio 5000 to communicate to your Logix processors. It should also be noted that Iris Logix 5000 and Studio 5000 come in many different packages. For those who are only going to program the low-cost Compact Logix line, they can buy the low-cost version of Studio 5000 called Studio 5000 Mini or Studio 5000 Lite. Those two packages only support the Compact Logix, whereas the more expensive Studio 5000 Standard or Full programs all Control Logix processors as well as all Compact Logix processors.